Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV Any Comey video, man. And this one, I think some people might have took my last video the wrong way. Me breaking down what I feel is logical and my expectations and stuff as far as VV, Omi, and things like that, that isn't saying that I'm less bullish on Omi or anything like that. It's being realistic. You have to... You have to really understand as they introduce new information, you have to shift your mindset with what they have released, with what we know, and you have to change your predictions and change where you think it's going and how fast you think that it's going to get there. Because a lot of people are kind of staying in the same mindset as if new information has not been presented. You can't stick to one way of thinking because that's where you're comfortable at. You have to be realistic with yourself and realistically, my mindset has shifted from what I believe is realistic for them and how and what they can do and what they're capable of doing in a short period of time. In my experience, what I've seen from them is it takes them a while to do everything because the licensing world just takes so long. So do I believe that they can go on a run dropping crazy amounts of cars, dropping one sports team, working with one sports team, then dropping a whole nother sport. Do I think all of these sports brands and stuff like that is going to come out and just boost the, boost Omi an insane amount and things like that? Do I think that that's all happening within a year? How many delays have we had? How many times have they um, said that something was going to come? Like we have an Alcon interview that they said was going to happen like last month. And that Alcon interview has yet to come out. Like, David, shout out to David. He said that it's going to be coming within this week or so for the next couple of weeks. But at the same time, they said that a month ago. So, even the people who work in their company, it's hard to, it's hard to, like, obviously get things done with the people who they actually have control over. So, these licenses, I don't expect them to magically have some type of power where they can just, oh, NFL, you drop. Up the next sports brand, you drop. Hey, you drop too. Like it's like I don't, I don't expect to see that. I don't expect to see them some suddenly get some type of juice. I think that it's going to be a slow build up. What they are showing and what they have said in their plans is they they are planning for this to be around for many many years. Like this is going to be something that lasts for decades. So I don't think that they're in any rush. Four or five months in to start just dropping a bunch of crazy stuff and start boosting Omi to a dollar or doing things that's going to boost Omi to a dollar this year. I just don't think that they're in a rush to do it, getting to know these guys a lot better. If they know that this project is going to be around for 10 plus years, why would they be rushing everything right now this year? So it just doesn't make sense to me. I also got, a, um, I got an interesting comment. It said, um, you're forgetting the marketing team of Rogers and Cohen. VV does not want more customers yet until they switch to Ethereum environment. Be patient, um, my friend. There will um, be a time when it explodes. Um, I don't want anybody to think, I don't think that Omi is going to explode. Like that, that was not the point of my video. The point of my video was to explain the realistic time frame of it exploding. So, um... This is not a marketing issue. So, 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 um, Rogers and Cohen, like, they're, they're irrelevant here, to be honest, because they could literally get a billion people on the platform, but that does not mean that VV has enough staff to to create the, enough content for this many people. So that's the that's the the biggest problem we have right now. They can do the best marketing in the world. We can get twenty million people. In the, in the next month, we can get 20, 30 million people on, on VV in the next month. We won't have 20 and 30 million people worth of content, though. And we don't have a staff team that is capable of developing that much content right now. Um, what, they were at 25, and they hired, like, what, to maybe 10 new people? I'll give them maybe, they're, they're at 35 people potentially right now. Um, that's not enough people. 35 people is not enough to, to cater to 30 million. Like so, so it does not matter how great of a marketing or press team that you have. That does not matter at all. This is a content problem, and the the content problem is only going to get worse. And that's what what that's what you have to kind of wrap your head around and change your thinking about. The content problem is only going to get worse. They're trying to do one drop. They're doing one drop a week, and they have struggled with that. We've had a few postponed drops because they they struggle to get one drop done a week. 
their goal is to get up to four drops a week. So they need enough content to drop four drops a week and to constantly keep dropping four drops a week. Aside from that, having all that content, your showroom, they're planning on some new updates and upgrades to your showroom where you can have like tables and, and, and stands and rugs and stuff like that. That's that's more content. This is content. This is all content that needs to be created. It, it doesn't just happen. It comes from somewhere. It take, take the time to create this stuff. So that's just the showroom. Then you have an entire VV-verse. VV-verse, the, the whole world in itself, whatever this, this metaverse is going to be, that entire world is going to be content. It has to be created. It has to be designed. They need all the trees. They need every single leaf. They need the grass. They need water. They need whatever is going to be in the VV-verse as far as the land and the terrain. They need to design and create all of this. That in itself is content, and depending on how big the VV-verse is, that's a lot of content. Then they need buildings, they need structures, they need doors, they need windows, they need signs, they need the ability to um, market somehow. Maybe they're going to have some big banner where you can pay for advertisement space in the VV-verse, like some big banner, as soon as you open the VV-verse, you get, oh, it's a new business open. They're going to need this content. Now, once we have our land, we want to decorate our buildings and stuff like that. That's more content that they have to add in. Let's say you want to customize your car. They like that's content. All the customizations. Not only do they need the car, but they need the car to be able to be made different colors so that they have those customization options. This is all content. So I think people are confused in the fact that. Even though the price is going to be low and it's going to stay low for a while, I don't think that it's going to stay there. What needs to happen is that we need to secure this content. We need more content. They need a bigger team to put out this content. And once that ball starts rolling, it's going to be unstoppable. But as far as how fast the ball begins to roll, I think people are thinking that it's just going to shoot up to, to pass the, this price point right now. I don't see it moving past this to anytime soon. And this isn't a situation new exchanges and things like that will help either. That's something else that I saw. People think that um, new exchanges is going to boost things. When people are looking to invest in something in the crypto community, in the crypto space, they're not looking for something that's going to take five years, especially when you can invest in Shiba Inu and make thousands overnight. Like, it makes no sense to invest in OMI if you're a short-term investor. If, if you're in the crypto space, if you're going to wait for something to take five years, go to why not just go to the stock market? People are not coming to invest in crypto to wait for, for five years. It's just it's, That's just not what's happening. So just because OMI gets listed on other exchanges and things like that, I don't want people's hopes to be too, too high based on that either. Because the second that these traders find out, okay, OMI is a, a big deal, but it's not going to be big. It's not going to start moving until a certain point. They're go they're only going to invest at that point where they think it's going to start moving, which means that they're go they're going to invest a year or so from now. Um, so, yeah, like while we are on this project, we love this project. We see the potential. We want to be here for the whole journey, the whole ride. This is an investment. But it's different for investors and traders. This is not a, a um, project that you that you would want to trade in. This is not a trading environment that makes sense to me. Um, a, a good trading environment to me, regardless of what people may think, is something like Dogecoin. Something that has a high chance that that community is going to come together and boost that price again. Just stand in the Dogecoin community, waiting for them to boost the price and just keep taking profits from there. That's a much more solid strategy than a company who's going to, it has to take time until it builds itself up. So don't think that this is going to be attractive to traders just because it's on different different exchanges and things like that. I don't think that the exchanges is going to be as impactful as people think. And even if someone does invest in OMI from these new exchanges, they're going to realize, oh, this is a, a years, this is years, this is that type of investment. They're going to make maybe a small investment and then they're going to really go bullish on other things. So you just have to understand, um, you have to understand that with this new information that we have, it's not realistic to see any crazy movements this year, I don't think. 
I don't think that it's realistic to see any insane movements coming from um Omi this year. Um, like I said, I, the VV verse, like once they once the VV verse is up running, we have customizations, we have all this thing, and then we get the and also keep in mind, like um we we can have an influx of users if there's enough c content to accommodate those users. Yes, it will be insane. But having 30, you can get a billion people on VV right now. Let's say we have a billion people. If they don't have enough content for a billion people, what good is having a billion people? And that that's the issue that we're having right now. It's not enough content. They don't have enough content to um, accommodate more than a, a certain amount of people. So... I know that people are still super, super um, bullish, hoping to this this gets to like one dollar this year. But based on what I've seen, the rate that they are constantly moving at, all the setbacks that they're having in marketing, licensing, crypto, um, all these type of setbacks that we're constantly seeing, I don't think that that's going to change this year. Now, as as VV has a solid year and releases the VV verse, they release all these different options and things like that. If all these features they release kills it, like if, once they make the new showroom, if we start seeing new content drop, once they release this video thing that's supposed to be like TikTok, once they release that, if that starts to do well, if everything that VV does goes according to plan and it boosts the value of VV and it's, it's working well how it's supposed to and things like that, I think by next year we could start to see the ball rolling a little, a little bit faster. But... Yeah, as it currently stands, it does not really make a lot of um, a lot of sense for it to be moving right now. So I don't want anyone to think that it makes me less bullish or something like that. I I do just cover things from my perspective. I I, I tell you all um, what's realistic to me. I like I know a lot of people when I, when I say things like, "Oh, I think that it's going to hit ten dollars." This is all my personal opinion. Like this this is the, the I look at the things the same way that I look at it. I just feel like. It's going to take more time now because of how they're moving. They have a a slow and steady wins the race type of personalities. They don't have a okay. We we're we're going to be around for ten years. Let's do everything year one and get this to a dollar in year one. I I don't believe that that's in their business plans. Like this the stuff that they they just said in the interview yesterday that this stuff that's being released right now was stuff that was worked on three years ago. They just said that. They just said this stuff. They are years. They they they're working. They've been working on stuff for years to get to, and they're just now starting to release it right now. They take their time. They take their time. They're very patient. They will hold on to an asset for many many years before they release it. And this is being proven. It's being proven with how they're moving right now. So, yeah, man. Um, let me know what you all think. I definitely love to hear you all's opinions and things like that. I did want to address this so there's no confusion. I'm not any less bullish on Omi. It's just real. It's only realistic to change your mindset when you're given new information. We have new information, and this information is not pointing to some huge explosion of Omi this year. It's just not. Now, if something happens that makes Omi explode, obviously that's going to be a great surprise. Um, but realistically, I don't think that that's that's just in the cards for this year. Now, once we get like I said, once we get the VV verse here, we're burning Omi around the clock every day, all day. It's a different story. Like that's when okay, the price is the ha the price has the potential to move now. If we're burning like if we get to burning like let's say a hundred a hundred million Omi a day just off the VV verse, and then on drop days we have a crazy amount of Omi to get that gets burned. Okay, that changes everything. But until we have that steady all day every day Omi burn. I don't, I, I don't see any big moves happening. So I think the VV versus, like I said, like I said in my last video, the VV versus is going to be the huge catalyst that we need. Um, no amount of marketing or any of that stuff is important right now. I don't think that it's going to be a hard, it's not a hard thing to get people on VV. VV is an amazing project. It has amazing brands. It's not hard to get people on VV. What's going to be hard is having enough content for the amount of people you can get on VV. VV is one of these projects that could realistically have 100 million downloads. I wouldn't be surprised to see VV have 100 million downloads. I would be very surprised if they can have enough content for 100 million people right now, though. Like, that's, that's what would shock me. Right now, I, I would be surprised if they have enough content for that. So this is a content problem. This isn't a marketing problem. This isn't a, 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 a design flaw. This isn't any of these problems that people may be talking about right now. 
this 100% has to do with their team being too small to accommodate too, too many people. So all the marketing in the world will not really fix this situation. So only time and, hi and them hiring new people and things like that can change the issue that we're seeing right now. So yeah, that's, that's my thoughts. Let me know what you all think in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one, man. Peace out, Joe.